Trump holds another winning card. American President Trump ordered to investigate the relationship between the Chinese Communist Party, also known as the CCP, and the WHO. A recent article by Benedict Rogers of UCA News pointed out, if we want the CCP to be responsible for its cover-ups during the pandemic, we can't ignore another medical-related brutality from them. They are live harvesting organs from prisoners of conscience. Rogers is the co-founder and deputy president of the British Conservative Human Rights Commission. If Trump's administration wants to investigate CCP live organ harvesting, it will be very likely a winning card to investigate the CCP's relationship with the WHO. The CCP virus first broke out in Wuhan. Internal documents about Wuhan hospitals recently obtained by the Epic Times indicates that Wuhan is highly involved in CCP's live organ harvesting crimes. Tiafu Huang, the former Chinese deputy minister of health, said it would have no Chinese organ transplantation without Hubei and Wuhan. Wuhan Tongji hospital transplants are number one for kidney, three for heart, and five for livers in China. Internal documents show the number of kidney transplants at Tongji Hospital is astonishing. In 2016, Tongji Hospital became the first transplant center exceeding 6,000 kidney transplants. This huge number makes us question where the organs came from. In October 2015, an investigator from World Organization to investigate the persecution of Falun Gong talked to Dr. Gong from Cardio theoretic surgery at Tongji Hospital on the phone. Dr. Gong admitted that they obtained the organs from Falun Gong practitioners in prisons and labor camps. Uh, on July 20th, 1999, Jiang Zemin ordered to exterminate Falun Gong. To stand up against the persecution, about one million Falun Gong practitioners went to Beijing to appeal during the height in 2000. Many never came back. In 2000, organ transplants surged, coinciding with that of the CCP's persecution of Falun Gong. When Deputy Director of Zhongsheng Hospital, He Shaoshan, was interviewed by a reporter from Southern Weekend, He said the year 2000 is the watershed of the Chinese organ transplantation. The number of liver transplants nationwide in 2000 is 10 times higher than 1999. In 2005, it's three times higher than 2000. On March 14, 2006, Guangzhou Daily reported an affiliated hospital of Guangzhou Zhongshan University completed 19 kidney transplants in one day. Ho was the director of the transplants at that time. During the CCP virus pandemic, news of double lung transplants for a CCP virus patient came out, renewing external concerns of where the organs came from. On February 29, 2020, a double lung transplant surgery for a CCP virus male patient age 59 was completed in a hospital of Wuxi City, Jiangsu, China. The wait for the surgery was only five days. The chief surgeon was Chen Jingyu. The next day, March 1st, a double lung transplant surgery for a CCP virus female patient was completed in a hospital in Zhejiang, China. The chief surgeon is Han Wei Li. On March 10th, as chief surgeon Chen Jingyu completed another double lung transplant for a male CCP virus patient, age 73, the surgery wait was less than five days. On March 10th, Communist Victims Foundation released a research report on the latest CCP forced organ harvesting at Capitol Hill. Susie Hughes, executive director of International Alliance for Ending Abuse of Transplantation in China, was invited to join. Hughes said recently, a series of rapid double lung transplants for CCP virus patients made people worry about the source of organs. More important, it was so rapid to obtain the lungs and match perfectly. All evidence indicates that the crime of forced organ harvesting is happening in China, and the organ donation rate in China is very low. How do they use lung transplants to cure CCP pneumonia. Hughes cited the verdict on accusations of CCP forced human organ harvesting by British Independent People Court, said the conclusions made by People's Court included large-scale forced organ harvesting had been going on for many years. Falun Gong practitioners may be the main source of organs. Judgment holds those who deal with the CCP must know they are interacting with a criminal country. 
During the conference of Hong Kong Organ Transplantation in 2006, Philip J. O'Connell, president of the International Organ Transplantation Association, said to the media he had told mainland doctors, It is important that you understand that the global community is appalled by the practices which the Chinese have adhered to in the past. As a result of these practices, the Chinese transplant centres have allowed a trenchant political opposition to their government to prosper. It's very crucial you should know that what the mainland Chinese have been doing is appalling to the international community. It is precisely because of these approaches of transplantation centers in China that opposition against China has soared. O'Connell told reporters no one could translate what He said to Chinese delegates onto TTS really endorsing China's organ transplantation system. People noticed they say what they want to say, but it's not the truth. Many high officials Officials, including WHO Director General Tedros, have publicly supported the CCP on this sensitive issue. On August 22nd, field spokesman of the CCP organ transplantation and the former Deputy Minister of Health Ministry, Huang Jiefu, gave a speech on the topic of organ transplantation at the conference. Jose Nunes, the organ transplantation project manager of WHO, claimed China CCP could become the leader of global organ transplantation at the conference. On May 24, 2018, during the World Health Assembly, a so-called organ transplant off-site meeting was held at the Playas de Naciones. Huang Jiefu gave a speech on realizing China's organ transplantation course suggested by one band and one road. According to the CCP's media Xinhua website, the general director of Hu Tedros said thanks China to Huang Jiefu in Chinese after the conference. If Trump's administration investigates the CCP's live organ harvesting, it will hit the dead point of the CCP. If this happens, it is very likely that it will bring the unexpected turnaround for Americans' pandemic prevention against the CCP virus.